Hello everyone, welcome here. Today we'll be talking about a wardrobe and ways that we can reduce the clutter that we have in our closet. I had neglected this part of our home and it had been in the back of my mind, but I never got to it until now. So it's important to set a day and time aside to tackle a project like this. It took me about four hours from start to finish to go through all the items, but it can take you way less or a little bit more time than me. Just be patient and be kind to yourself. There's no timer, but you do want to go in with an open mind, knowing that some things will have to go. The first thing you need to do is take everything out of your closet. This is going to prevent you feeling overwhelmed. This will also allow you to start fresh and take your time evaluating and asking yourself these questions. What pieces do I wear time and time again because I love them that much? Do I feel good and comfortable when I wear this? If you find items that are not clothes, you can ask yourself these questions as well. Is this considered trash? Can I donate this? Can I sell this? Have I used this in the last year? Think of all these questions and really be honest with yourself whether you will really use it or not. As for the miscellaneous items, you only want to own the things that serve a good purpose in your home and you know sooner or later it will come in handy. If you find anything broken, like this tripod here that I'm going to show you in a little bit, you can recycle it or donate it for someone else to fix. It's also important to find places for your kept items elsewhere other than your closet that don't have a home. The key here is to remove the items that are actually not clothes. And if you use your closet as a storage, that's fine if you have a big walk-in closet and nowhere else to store items. But many of us don't have a big walk-in closet or that type of luxury, so it's a good idea to store non-clothing items somewhere else. Let this year be the year you create a wardrobe that works for you with clothing pieces that are easy to put on, that always looks good and makes you feel your best. With this in mind, you also want to keep items you can mix and match while also reflecting your personal style as well. I like my closet to be consistent in neutral tones and shades because it reduces the amount of clutter in my wardrobe. If you find yourself feeling like nothing fits anymore, it's really important to keep your body type and size in mind. So wearing fitting clothing, even if you do have to size up, will look so much better than a really tight piece that doesn't feel good to be in. You can also do research and see what type of body shape you have and see if you can find people with your specific body type and see how they wear their clothing. Something you never want to do is to try to give away or donate without first trying to sell it. This is a very unpopular opinion. Normally people just donate, sell, or give away, or even throw away, but you really don't want to throw anything away either because, you know, this is things that other people could use. This is clothes that you paid for with your hard-earned money, so trying to get it back would be the most reasonable thing to do. A lot of the time, donating can lead to some items with rips or stains to end up in landfills and, or just get resold. So why not try selling it first yourself? You can do this through Poshmark, Depop, Facebook Marketplace. You can do a garage sale. This is my Bible study journal that I'll be keeping in the nightstand I'll be getting. So watch out for the next video coming up where I show you how we organize the nightstand. These are just a few photography books I had gotten from when my mom was moving and she no longer wanted them. And I've taken the time to appreciate them already, so I no longer feel any use for them anymore. So I'll be selling them, if not donating them. These are just some frog ears that I got from the dollar store that I no longer use for work. These are some gloves that I don't really use because I can't really use my cell phone with it. And then this t-shirt I received as a gift, but it doesn't fit me. It fits me way too big and it's not really my style either. This is where a lint roller went. We couldn't find it anywhere when we needed it. So I'll be putting this in our laundry room or in our car. I upcycled this shoebox to store all of my camera equipment in here and I really like how it looks. I 
I won't be doing a full-on transformation today, that way I don't lose focus. So I'm just cleaning it up with my homemade cleaning spray of essential oils, vinegar, and castor soap. I then go in with my Norwex and BioCloth that I wash and reuse. I highly recommend one of these if you want to save on paper towels. I drifted these white pants from Goodwill and they still fit, so I'll be keeping these. I got these shorts from Evelyn years ago and they don't fit me the same anymore, so I'll be letting these go. I ordered these two pants online and even though I've managed to wear them a few times, they've never really been fitting or very comfortable, so I'll be leaving these as well. closet has been completely emptied and cleaned out so now i'll just be giving these baseboards a quick paint and refresh and then i'll start putting the clothes i'll be keeping back in These are clothes that I had recently washed and dried to fully go through everything. Even though I love this dress, it's very tight on me and doesn't suit my body whatsoever, so it's gonna be decluttered. This dress was much longer than I thought or what it looks like online. Sometimes I get a few pieces that's a hit or miss. In this case, I'll be passing it along to someone who's taller than me. This is a loungewear set that I love and bought for the winter, so I'll be keeping these. For the longest time, I kept buying too many of the same colors like beige and brown. Now I'm starting to add some gray tones to my wardrobe. I recently found this gray turtleneck and I love it. These black joggers fit me very well a few years ago, but I lost weight and they don't fit me as well anymore. And these tights got paint on them because I was working on a project, so I painted them. So they're gonna have to go. And these gray leggings I use very often, so they're gonna stay. I prefer sport bras over regular bras, but these don't really fit me very well, so they're gonna go. And then this shirt is one of my favorites. It's a regular t-shirt, but I wear it very often. I recently wore this dress that I love so much and I got a lot of compliments on them, so I'm gonna keep it. I love the fabric and the color on this dress, but it's just too low, so it's gonna go. I bought this puffer jacket at Texas Thrift and I haven't worn it, but soon. This is one of my favorite dresses ever. I wear it a lot and I actually like that you can wear a long undershirt if it gets cold for the fall. This is my wedding dress, so that's non-negotiable. As I mentioned before, I like going to Texas Thrift, especially to look for active wear. Active wear can get really expensive, especially if you buy new ones. So I actually found this one that has a sports bra and a shirt in one. I found this other puffer jacket that has like a wool text like material on the inside and I love it. This green shirt is really cute and it's really pretty but it just doesn't suit my body, it's too wide. This skirt is a must, I have to keep it, I always wear it and I never get tired of it. These shorts as well, I feel the same way, never get tired of them. 
this is a pajama set that someone gifted me a long long time ago like when i was a teenager and i always hated it but it always kept me warm so i always kept it because of that reason but i want a new set and these don't suit me and they can get really hot during the summer so i want something that can be worn for all seasons This satin skirt is really nice, but it also doesn't really sit very well on my waist. It kind of squishes my waist, if that makes sense. And the bottom skirt is too short for me. This is another sport bra that doesn't fit me very well, so it's gonna go. These shorts were also part of a pajama set that I was gifted when I was a teenager, and I've just outgrown it big time. There's nothing wrong with this shirt, the only thing is that it has small specks of paint on them but apart from that, I really need to let go of this shirt. This is one of those shirts that I would wear like three times out of the week so it needs to go. I recently wore this jumper for a anniversary shoot that I had with my husband last year. It was amazing. I love the pictures, how they came out with this jumper. I can't wait to wear this outfit again. I found this beautiful and comfortable present dress for less than $20. I actually have a video that I made where I show this dress in it. If you guys want to check it out, I will link it down below. These trouser pants are one of my favorites. They're very comfortable and they stretch as well. They're high-waisted. I believe the brand is Bonworth, if that's how you say it. And it's one of my favorite brands. They make really good pants. I had drifted this high-waisted skirt from Depop and it never fit me. It fit me way too small but I still wear it a lot of times and I'm just letting it go now. I was very uncertain about this one. I wasn't sure if I was going to keep it or not because it is a waffle shirt which are very comfortable to wear but it has this thing that I could never take off so you can't really see it on the video but I think I'm gonna have to let this one go. We stopped by a garage sale the other day in our neighborhood and I found these pants, these active pants. I had never had any specific pants like these, but I love them. I'm not really into pink at all. This is really my only pink item in my closet, but it's worth it. I've never really liked how shoe racks look or even those clear plastic boxes that you see all over TikTok. So in the future, I plan to purchase a shoe storage dresser where you can hide the shoe. If you're trying to build a capsule wardrobe, you want it to suit all seasons. Try to find fabrics that will shift and stretch with your body that changes over the years. The end goal is to fill your closet with really intentional pieces, with colors that match one another to facilitate you getting ready for any occasion. 
and this is the final result. Remember, a clutter-free space can help you have a good headspace to get ready every day without an overloaded amount of clothes. Thanks for joining me on this closet decluttering journey. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more organization inspiration.